Welcome, namaste, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me here today on this very auspicious day. We have a trifecta of full moon, super moon, and blue moon. So I'm so grateful that you're here to practice yoga with me. Um, we are going to do a full moon flow. Um, we'll do our usual getting warmed up and getting stretched out, and then we'll transition into the full moon. So for this practice, if you need to allow yourself to be supported with any kind of props, uh, blankets, blocks, anything, please go ahead and grab it and I will get you on your mind. Come to a comfortable seat, please. You can sit cross-legged or you can fold your feet under, sit on your heels and have your palms be resting on top of your thighs. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale it out. And just notice the sensations in your body initially. And one of those sensations is your breath. You just notice your mood, notice your, the signals your body is sending you, notice your thoughts. Notice your body right now in this moment. Notice that there's absolutely nothing you need to do. There's absolutely nowhere you need to go for the next 45, 50 minutes or so. And to just be here present. And really find yourself on your mat. So even just this moment, can you begin to sense your breath as a gift. You're not really seeking it, you're not really shaping your breath in any way, but you're receiving this wonderful gift of breath. And notice that this gift is continuously being given to you. You're constantly receiving this gift. It's you being showered with this gift 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a year. What a beautiful gift to receive. And as you gently begin to blink your eyes open, take your right hand next to your body, reach the left arm all the way up, stretch out that left side of your body. Inhale, come back to the center and switch side. Right, left hand comes down as the right arm reaches up. Inhale, coming all the way back to the center one more time, side to side, inhaling, exhaling, reach. Inhale, back to the center and exhale and reach to the other side. Inhale, coming back to the center, plant your hands down in front. If you're sitting on a blanket or something, please cut that to the side. Come to tabletop pose. Inhale, lift the chest up as you send your tailbone up towards the sky. Exhale, pull the belly around the back and come into your cat pose. Inhaling, lifting the chest up into your cow. Exhaling into your cat pose. And one more time, inhale, inhale, inhale. Lift the chest up, send the tailbone up. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Pull the belly around the back. And then this time, tuck your toes under, lean your hips back, and lift up to downward facing. Gently walk your feet all the way to your hands, please. Inhaling, halfway up, lengthen your chest. Exhale and fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, slowly come all the way back up, standing, or Bahastasana, reach up, look up. Exhale, begin to bend your knees and fold forward, all the way down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale and fold, plant your hands down, step your left foot back, right foot back, come to top of the push-up, and then bring your knees down, your chest down, and your chin down, come all the way down to your mat. Inhale, lift the chest up into a low cobra. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. 
Take one more deep breath here. As you exhale, walk your feet to your hands. Inhaling, come halfway up. Exhale and fold, Uttanasana. Remember, you can always keep your knees bent. Inhale, come all the way up to standing or Bahastasana, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold, pant your hands down, step your right foot back, left foot back, come to top of the push-up. Lower your knees down, your chest down, and your chin down. Inhale, lift up to a cobra. Maybe you come up a little bit higher this time. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. We'll do that Surya Namaskar one more time. Inhale. As you exhale, walk your feet to your hands. You can jump or float if you're ready. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, stand tall, reach up, or Mahastasana, touch the ceiling. Exhale, bend your knees and fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold, plant your hands down, left foot back, right foot back, come to top of the push-up. This time, if you're ready, you can just lower down to bottom of the push-up or come all the way down to the floor. Inhale, lift up to upward dog or cobra, depends entirely up to you. Exhale and downward facing dog. Pause here for a moment. Inhale, float the left leg up. Bend that left knee, open up the left hip. Reach the kneecap up towards the sky. Keep both hands flat on the floor though. And then exhale and lower that left foot down. Inhaling, right leg goes up. Bend the right knee, open up the right hip, stretch it up. Send the kneecap up towards the ceiling. And exhale, lower the right foot down. Inhale here. As you exhale, bend the knees deep. Walk, jump or float your feet to your hands. Have your feet be parallel to each other, hip width apart. Take your right hand directly underneath your face. Take your left hand to your left hip. Bend the right knee deep as you twist your torso over to the left. Reach the left arm up, stretch it up. And then if you like to, if it feels good, you can always rotate that left shoulder in the shoulder side. Maybe three times forward, maybe three times back behind you, stretch it out. Your next exhalation, lower that left hand down directly underneath your face. Bend the left knee, your right hand goes to your right hip. Twist your torso over to the right, reach the right arm up. And if it feels good, you can rotate the arm or you can stay still, whatever feels best for you. Maybe rotate it three times forward, maybe rotate it three times back behind you. Keep the left knee bent, and then lower that right hand all the way down. Bend the knees, bring your hands to your hips, and come all the way up to standing, and stand tall. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant your hands down and step your left foot back behind you. Bring the left knee down to the floor. Inhaling, reach the arms all the way up. Interlace the fingers, release the index finger. Bring the palms of your hands together and then fold over to the right. Stretch out that left side. Keep the core engaged so that you're not dumping too much in your low back. Inhale, come back to the center. Lower the hands down and then pick up that right arm out to the side, twist over to the right. Inhale. Exhale, lower the right hand down and step the left foot next to the right foot. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale and fold. Step your right foot back behind you. Right knee comes down to the Inhaling, reach the arms up, interlacing the fingers, release the index finger, keep the palms glued to each other, lift the chest up and exhale, fold over to the left. 
Pause here for a moment as you feel that nice stretch in that right side body. Inhale, come back to the center. Lower the hands down, right hand on the inside of the left foot. Reach the left arm up towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, lower the left hand down and step the right foot next to the left foot. Inhaling, halfway up. Exhale and fold forward, drop the head down. Inhale, roll up, one vertebra at a time. Come on all the way up to standing. Reach up, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. Inhaling, halfway up. Exhale, fold, plant your hands down. Step your left foot back behind you. Maybe this time keep the left knee off the ground. Press through the bottom of that right foot to come all the way up. Reach the fingertips up. High lunge, bring your hands together, interlace all the fingers, and then release your index fingers. So the finger index fingers are pointing up. Keep engaging the core. You can bend that back knee a little bit more, and exhale and fold over to the right. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center, lean your torso forward, straighten that back knee a little bit more, Take your left hand to the top of the right knee. You can stay here if it feels good. You can open up your arms. Open up your wings and fly. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands back together and then back down to the floor and step the left foot next to the right foot. Inhaling. Lengthen the spine. Exhale and fold forward. Step the right foot back behind you. Either right knee comes down or you can hover the right knee off the ground. Press through the bottom of that left foot as you come up to high lunge. Interlace the fingers. Release the index finger. Reach out of your waist first and then fold over to the left. Stretch out that right side body. Inhale. Come back to the center. Exhale, bring your hands to the heart center. Fold over your left leg as you straighten the right knee and take that right elbow on top of the left knee. Take a nice deep breath in. Lengthen the spine with each inhalation and exhale and twist a little bit to the left. Inhale, come back to the center. Lower the hands down onto the floor. And this time, take your left leg back behind you. Come to top of the push-up. Lower down to bottom of the push-up. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Stretch it up. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Keep the knees bent. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, walk, jump or float your feet to your hands. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale and fold forward, drop the head down, grab opposite elbows and you can just kind of sway your back side to side. And then as you're ready, bring your hands to your hips and come all the way up to standing. So we're going to start our little moon flow, Chandar Namaskar. Um, come to the right side of your mat please and bring your big toes together your heels are an inch apart from each other. Inhale, reach the arms up. Again, interlace the fingers. Release your index finger so the palms of your hands, this is a mudra, so the palms of your hands are touching. Lift the arms up, inhale. As you exhale, fold over to the right. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, fold over to the left. Inhale, come back to the center, and then bring your hands to the heart center. And take a big step out with your left foot. Turn the toes out, heels in. Inhale, goddess pose. Take the arms out to the side, elbows are shoulder height. Maybe begin to lift the heels up. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips and straighten out the knees. Turn both toes in, so um, all toes in, your right toes in, left toes out. Prepare your legs for Trikonasana. Inhale, reach the arms up, triangle pose. 
Exhale, take your left hand to your left shin, reach the right arm up, triangle pose. Inhale here, soften the shoulders away from the ears, lengthen both sides so that they're equally extended. And then lower that right hand down towards your mat, left hand comes down towards your mat, bend that left knee just slightly so you can step the right foot up enough where the outside edge of your right foot touches the floor. Really ground down through the outside edge of the right foot. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale and fold in pyramid pose. Drop the head down. Take one more deep breath here. As you exhale, lift halfway up. Bend the left knee a lot and take your right toes to the back of your mat. Bring the right knee down to the floor. Come to Anjayanasana, no lunge. Reach the arms up, inhale. As you exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Bring the hands all the way back down to the floor. Begin to turn your torso to the long side of your mat. Keep that left knee bent and come into skandhasana. So light side lunge, bringing the hands to the heart center. Your left knee is bent, your right leg is straight. Inhale here. As you exhale, come back into your lunge. Lift the chest up and then back into your trikonasana. So, so excuse me, pyramid pose first. And then trikonasana, lift the arms up. And then press yourself all, all the way back up and come back into goddess pose. And then step the right foot next to the left foot. So this, that's just one side of the round. We're gonna do that as if we're going around and around in our, in our, um, on our mat, okay? So I just wanted to, you to get the steps and then we can put it all together. So come back to the right side of your mat again. We'll start it again together. Inhale, reach the arms up. Interlace the fingers, release the index finger. Exhale, it's the same steps that we just did. We're just gonna repeat that and then stay on the left side of the body. Fold over to the right and then fold over to the left. Coming all the way back to the center. Hands come to the heart center. Take a big step out with your left foot. Goddess pose. Bend both knees, reach the arms up. Maybe the heels come off the ground. Inhale, keep lifting the chest up. Exhale, hands come to the hips, straighten the knees. Turn the toes in, get ready for your triangle pose. Reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, triangle pose, trikonasana, right arm reaches up. Inhale here. As you exhale, lower the right hand down, pyramid pose. Step the right foot up just enough so you can plant the outside edge of the right foot. Drop the head down. Inhale. Exhale, get ready for your low lunge. Step the right toes back, bring the right knee down to the floor. Lift the arms up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, get ready for skandhasana. Bring the hands down, left knee is bent, right leg is straight, hands come to the heart center. Take a nice deep breath here. Exhale. And then now gently press yourself all the way back up to goddess pose, inhale, you lift. Now bring the right foot next to the left foot, and now you're on the left side of your mat. Inhale, so we're gonna repeat this, going to the other side. Reach the arms up, exhale, fold over to the left. Inhale, to the center. Exhale, fold over to the right. Inhale, to the center. Bring the hands to your heart center. Take a big step out with your right foot. Bend both knees, come into goddess pose, arms are up. If you like to, you can lift the heels off the ground. Hands come to your hips, straighten down the knees. Now turn your toes to the right. Inhale, reach the arms out. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose on the right side. Lengthen both sides, inhaling here. As you exhale, lower the left hand down, right hand down, and step the left foot just enough to plant the outside edge of the left foot. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. 
Exhale and fold over your right leg, Trikonasana. Inhale, lift halfway up. Send the left toes to the back of your mat. Come down to low lunge. Bring the left knee down. Reach the arms up. Inhale, knee. As you exhale, bring the hands back down to the floor. Skandasana to this side. So right knee is bent, left leg is straight. Hands come to your heart center. Inhale here. As you exhale, press yourself all the way back up into goddess pose. Bend the knees. And then you're going to step all the way to the right side of the mat, bringing the left foot together to your hand, to your right foot. Inhaling, reach up. Interlacing the fingers, release the index fingers. That was one round. Exhale, fold to the right. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold to the left. Inhale and reach up. Bring the hands to your heart center. Take a big step out with your left foot. Turn the toes up. Goddess pose. Inhale, bend the knees. Maybe lift the heels up. Keep lifting the chest up, shoulders are, uh, excuse me, elbows are shoulder height. Inhale here. As you exhale, hands come to the hips. Turn the toes towards the left. Inhale, reach the arms out. Exhale, Trikonasana, triangle pose on the left. Inhale, expand the chest. Roll the ribcage open towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower the hands down to the floor. Step the right foot enough to plant the outside edge of the right foot. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold over your left leg, pyramid pose. Inhale, here, exhale, lower the forehead down towards your left shin. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, low lunge, step the right toes back, bring the right knee down to the floor. Inhale, reach the arms up, open up your chest towards the moon. Exhale, bring the hands to the earth. And then Skandasana. Your left knee is bent, right leg is straight. This time, if you like to, you can extend the arms open, twist your torso up towards the ceiling. Keep that right leg flexed. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly begin to press yourself all the way back up to goddess pose. Inhale. And then drag that right foot next to the left foot. You're on the left side of your mat. Stand tall. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, interlace the fingers, release the index finger and fold to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale, fold over to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, hands come to the heart center. Take a big step out with your right foot. Inhale and back into goddess pose. Lift the heels if you like to. Hands come to the hips, straighten the knees, turn the toes towards the right. Inhale, reach the arms out. Exhale, Trikonasana, triangle pose. Rotate the ribcage up towards the ceiling, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, expand. Exhale, lower the left hand down, right hand down, pyramid pose. Step the left foot up, just so you can plant the left foot down. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, step the left foot back behind you. Left knee comes down to the floor. Inhale, reach the arms up. Send your blessings, gather your blessing, accept your blessing, receive your blessings. Exhale, bring the hands all the way down to the floor. Skandasana to the right. Bend the right knee, left leg is open. Straight, reach the arms out to the side, maybe looking up towards the sky, take a nice deep breath here. One breath, press yourself all the way back up to goddess pose, take a nice deep breath in, and then exhale your left foot steps to the right foot, bring your hands to the heart center. Can we do one more round, please? 
pace. This time you can move in by your own pace. So if you'd like to go a little bit faster, you can. If you'd like to go a little bit slower, you can. Take a nice deep breath here in Tadasana. Inhale, reach the arms up. Interlace the fingers, release the index finger. Exhale, fold to the right. Half moon, inhale to the center. Exhale, fold to the left. Half moon to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale, goddess pose, step to the left. Bend the knees, Shoulder, elbows are shoulder height. Lift the heels, inhale. Bring your hands to the heart center, turn your toes to the left. Inhale, reach the arms out. Exhale, Trikonasana to the left. Inhale, expand in all directions. Exhale, lower the right hand down, left hand down, step the right foot up. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, pyramid pose, pull forward towards your left knee. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, take your toes to the back of your mat, bring the right knee down. Reach the arms up, Andre and Asana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Exhale, hands come to the earth, Skandasana to the left. Bend the left knee, right leg is straight. Bring your hands to the heart center. Inhale, expand, open up your wings, turn your gaze towards your right fingertips. And then as you're ready, press yourself all the way up to a Goddess pose and step the right foot next to the left foot. Last one, inhale and reach. Interlace in the fingers, releasing the index finger. Exhale, fold to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale, half moon to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, hands come to the heart center. Take a big step out. Goddess pose, bending both knees, reach the arms out. Lift the heels up. Inhale, hands to your hips. Turn the toes towards the right. Reach the arms out. Inhale and exhale. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Inhale and expand. Exhale, lower the left hand down, right hand down. Step the left foot up just enough so you can plant the outside edge of that left foot. And pyramid pose, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step that left foot back. Bring the left knee down to the floor. Reach the arms up. Being grateful for all the blessings. Exhale, bring the hands back down to the floor and take the skandasana pose. Right knees bent, left leg is straight. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Press yourself all the way up into a goddess pose. Reach the arms up and then step your right foot next to the left foot or left foot next to the right foot and we close our full moon gratitude come back to the top of your mat please inhale and reach up exhale bend the knees and fold forward take your right foot back left foot back pause in top of the push-up for just a moment Heels over to the right, and then reach the left fingertips up into a Vashisthasana half uh, side plank. Exhale, lower the left hand down. Take your heels all the way over to the left. Vashisthasana to the right, reaching the right arm up. Stretch it out. Lift that right hip up. Exhale, lower the right hand down to the floor. Bring the knees down to the floor and child's pose. Just rest your forehead for just a moment on the floor. Take a nice deep breath here. Exhale it out. And then just come halfway up, please. And take your big toes together. Knees are wide apart from each other. Stay in a child pose, wide leg and child's pose. Walk your left fingertips in front of you. Take your right arm underneath your body and slowly come into a, a wide-legged child's pose with a twist. So your right arm is threaded underneath the body, right ear is on the floor, left arm is reaching 
above your head. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a nice deep breath here. Exhale it out. Let that right, let the hips completely release towards your hip heels. And then gently press yourself back up. Extend the left arm out to the side. Thread that left arm under your body. Bring the left ear to the floor and stretch out the right arm above you. Nice deep inhalation. Long exhales, feel your inhalation going all the way to your hips. And soften the hips down, soften the upper shoulders. And then gently press yourself all the way up. And come all the way on your belly. So bring your legs together, bring your belly on the floor. And then bring your elbows just directly underneath the shoulders. We're going to come into Sphinx pose. So the elbows are directly underneath the shoulders and their forearms are shoulder width apart. Make sure your elbows are not way up to the side like this. Hug your elbows in towards each other. You're pressing down with, the, uh, with your fingers spread. Your hands are pressing down onto the floor. Your fingers are spread wide apart from each other. Bring your legs together. Press your pubic bone down, press the top of your feet down, and then imagine you're, without actually moving your arms, you're pulling your elbows towards your hip bones as your hip bones are driving up towards the elbows. So it's a really active swing pose. Keep lifting the chest up, create a little back bend here as you Maybe your gaze can be forward. If it feels good on your neck, you can take your gaze up slightly, but I don't really recommend dropping the head down or the head back behind you. So keep the gaze either to neutral or just in front of your fingertips and keep drawing your elbows towards your hips, hips towards the elbows. Really, really active space for So you feel a nice stretch in the front side of your body. Lifting the chest up, inhale. And exhale. And then gently lower the forehead down onto the floor, please. Bring your left hand next to your chest. Your right arm reaches straight uh, above your head. Inhale, lift the chest up once again. Lift the left leg off the ground and then maybe lift the right arm above, straight off the floor. And exhale, lower down and then switch up. Your right hand is next to your rib cage. Left arm reaching above your head. Inhale, press yourself up and then lift the chest up. Lift the right leg up and lift the left arm. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale. Lower everything down. And one more time on both sides. And we're going to pause a little bit longer. So lifting the chest up. Lifting the left leg up. Lifting the right arm above your head. Now if this feels good, maybe you can hover the left hand off the ground. Maybe you can reach back with that left hand and grab your left ankle and you have a dancer pose, not to adjust and on your belly. Maybe if this feels good, you can hover the right foot off the ground. Take a nice deep breath in, keep the shoulders away from the ears and exhale, lower everything down. Hands come next to your ribcage once again, forehead is down. Inhale, lift the chest up. Lift the right leg off the ground. Maybe reach the left arm forward. And if that feels good, maybe hover the right hand off the ground. Maybe reach back behind you and see if you can grab your right ankle with your right hand. 
and as you press your ankle into your hand, reach the left arm away from your hips. Maybe if you can, and if you like to try, hover the left toes off the ground. And lift in opposite directions, and exhale, and lower everything down. Bend both knees, and windshield wiper your knees side to side. Turn your head to one side and rest for a moment. And then turn your head to the other side and rest for a moment. And then come back to the center. Once again, bring your forehead down to the floor. We bring your knees together, your inner thighs together, your inner ankles together. Bend your knees, reach back behind you with both hands. Maybe you can find your ankles, maybe some of you can find your toes, maybe you can find the bottom of your pants, whatever you got, hold on to that. Press your knees down onto the floor and then inhale, lift the chest up. So the thighs stay down on the floor initially. And then as you exhale, lower the forehead down, lift the thighs off the ground. Inhale, lower the thighs down, lift the chest up. Exhale, lower the chest down, lower the forehead down, lift the thighs up. One more time, inhale, lift the chest up, lower the thighs down, exhale, and do the opposite. So you're rocking back and forth. And then this time as the knees come off the ground, the thighs come off the ground, inhale and lift the chest up into bow pose. Send the toes up towards the ceiling, soften the shoulders, press your ankles into your hands, your hands into the ankles, lift the chest up, inhale in, and exhale, and relax. Windshield wiper your knees side to side, look to one side and relax. And then look to the other side and relax. And then as you're ready, just gently roll over on your back, please. Bring both knees to your chest. Hug your knees and rock a little bit side to side. Draw the right knee to your chest, extend the left leg straight. Rotate that right ankle one way. And rotate it the opposite direction. And then take that right hand on the inside of the right knee, open up that leg out to the right, just like you're in a tree pose on that right leg. Pause here for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in, receive your inhalations, receive this beautiful gift that we call your breath. And then put that right foot on top of your left thigh. Take your left hand to the outside of the right knee and come into a nice twist. Extend your right arm out. Inhale, come back to the center. Draw that right knee again. One more time, squeeze it and compress that right hip and exhale and release. And just pause here for a moment, maybe shake the legs out, maybe see the difference between the right and the left hip. And as you're ready, draw the left knee to your chest, squeeze that left knee in, interlace the fingers around the shin, rotate the left ankle one direction, and then the opposite direction. And take your right left hand on the inside of that left knee and let that left knee just stay open to the side. Breathe into that left hip. Close your eyes. the left foot on top of the right knee, your right hand comes to the outside of the left knee and roll into your twist to the right. 
receive your breath. Anytime, anytime of day where you feel overwhelmed or something is going on, just notice your breath. Just take a pause. Receive your breath like it's the most precious gift you have ever received. Your breath is always there. You don't even need to take time to meditate. Just receive your breath. Notice your breath. And that instantly brings you to the present moment. Draw that left knee to your chest once again. Interlace both knees. Interlace both, uh, grab both knees, excuse me. And then rock a little bit side to side. Just, it feels good to just kind of massage your low back. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees open wide out to the side. Bring one hand to your belly and then the other hand to your chest. And then just notice that breath all the way in your belly. Obviously the breath, your belly is not breathing, but you feel the belly expand with each inhalation. And then continue that breath, feel the chest expand. And empty the belly and empty the chest. Just do this two more times on your own. Nice deep inhalation. Feel the belly expand. Feel the chest expand. And exhale. Empty the belly. Empty the chest. And one more time, please. Nice deep inhale. And nice long and you are ready for your Shavasana, for your final pose. So just extend the legs out. As you're ready, gently begin to wiggle your toes and fingertips. Draw one knee to your chest and then the other knee to your chest. Rock a little bit side to side on your back. Notice which nostril you're breathing out a little bit easier. Roll over to that side, pause for a moment. And then with the strength in your top arm, press yourself to a comfortable seat, please. Sitting tall, bring your hands to your heart center, bow down to yourself. It's always my honor to guide you through your practice. Thank you so much for joining me.